morning and welcome to Heart of the Matter. This morning we are talking about personal growth and development. I am Coach Lillian Adebola and no, I am not a football coach. I am a life coach and I'm a business coach. With me on set this morning are Wonu Aboderin. You're welcome, Wonu. Thank you very much, Coach. Nice to be here. And Funke Shoneka. You're welcome. Good morning. Thank you very much, Coach Lillian. We're going to talk about growth, so I invite you to get your notepads, get your pen and paper, because we're going to be sharing a lot of secrets on personal growth. Wonu, what's your take on growth? What is growth? Um, in my opinion, I think that growth is a conscious um, determination to move from one point to the other. It can be from uh, an individualistic point of view, it can be from your business point of view, it can be your marriage, it can be physical, anything, but it's a conscious determination to move from one point to the other. Thank you, Wonu. What about you, Funke? For me, growth just doesn't happen. It's um, a constant movement and progression in oneself or business. Um, for me, it's in a nutshell saying that growth is advancement. Thank you, Funke. Thank you. So basically, we are saying that growth involves grow growing, changing, improving, and advancing, moving from one level to the other. But the thing is, a lot of people are not growing. Time is passing in their lives, but they are not growing. Because a lot of people assume that growth will just happen. And this could be because as children growing up, as young people, we grew physically, automatically. We went to schools, our teachers, our parents took care of the curriculum, the planning, the strategies. We just showed up. So we become adults and after university or high school, we expect growth to just show up in our lives. That's what we want to talk about this morning, being very intentional about your growth. What does it mean to be intentional about your growth? Um, I would think to be deliberate, to, to say that I'm going to do it and just do it. I mean, I've been reading the book, The 15 Laws of Growth by John Maxwell, and um, one of the things that popped out at me was when he said, I can't remember the name of the person that said it, but he said before, the, before Nike ever even came up with the word and with the slogan, just do it. Um, someone said it. So literally, just get up and do it. Be intentional, be deliberate about things. That, that's my, my take. Excellent. What about you, Funke? Um, for me, I think it's more about setting goals. Um, intentional is having a purpose for whatever it is that you do. And I've come to realize that you can't just keep doing things without having any set goals in terms of what you want to do. So growth, even in terms of relationships, is about character. <laughs> growth in terms of um, making money is about having a financial plan and knowing how money works. So everything is intentional, having that one purpose or many purposes in achieving the growth. Thank you. And if I may add to that, Intentional growth, like you said, Wonu, is about being very deliberate about your growth. And growth can be in different areas of our lives. Like we know if you, if you want to grow in your purpose in life, for example, then you need to grow in self-awareness, knowing who you are, your potentials, your strengths, and all that stuff. If you want to grow your business or your career, then you need to grow your skill sets, isn't it? Yes. And if you want to be a better parent or friend or sibling, you need to grow in your relationships. Mm -hmm. So how does one start growing? How does one get a plan for growing? How does that happen? Well, um, I think first is actually being self-aware that you need growth. Mm -hmm. um, in order for you to grow, you need to understand who you are as a person or as a um, your business, for instance, and from the self-awareness, it kind of drives you to which areas it is that you want to work on. Um, so self-awareness, I think, is the first part of the process of growing. I, I, I think so, too. Yeah, I totally agree, because I was just going to say the same thing. Um, I basically got to the realization sometime maybe last year that 
I wasn't growing the way I should have been growing. So, um, and I had come to that point, which is the self-awareness point, that I had to move on, I had to move on from there. But I knew that it wasn't based on what I knew. I knew that I needed a professional. I needed someone that, like a life coach, basically, to, to work with me on, on, the, on, the process of, on the process of growing. So um, I had arrived at the point of self-awareness and I decided that, you know what, in terms of my business, in terms of my personal, you know, just personally, I needed to grow. And that's basically how it started as well. And that's correct, because mm -hmm. without that awareness of a need to grow, you're not going to follow certain other things that you need to do. So self-awareness is critical, it's the first thing. That realization that I could be more than I am, I could do more than I'm doing, I could have more than I'm doing. But becoming aware of that now creates a lot of problems for some people. They're aware that they should grow, but perhaps they don't know how to grow. Or they think they need some other things before they grow. For example, someone wants to grow their business and they think they money. need money. Yeah. That's usually the thing. Mm -hmm. They think I need to have money, <laughs> to, make to, money. To, to make money or to grow. And that brings me to the issue of belief system. What we believe. In talking about intentional growth, we need to examine our belief systems. Because often people have limiting beliefs that stop them from growing. So, for example, they make an assumption like we just said, I need money to grow. Mm -hmm. But that's not true. Because really you don't need money to grow. That's not the first thing you mm -hmm. need to grow. You need things like clarity. What is it that you really want to achieve from your life? You need to get clarity around that. And sometimes you, you, you find out that you need someone to help you grow. Like one who said, you know, because you don't know what you don't know. Yeah. That's the truth. Can you share an experience? Have you had that sort of experience, Funke? In terms of um, growth? Yes. Um, well, I can use my companies as an example. Yes. Um, I have two businesses. One is called Yapani, Young Adult Professionals and Entrepreneurs. And the second is called Funky Events, which is a bespoke events marketing company. And um, Wanu and I are friends. So it got to a point where I just said to her that, look, I'm, I've identified a cycle, which is I start my business. I, I, I mean, it goes further and then it gets to the point where nothing happens, there's no growth. So we spoke and then we kind of understood that there's something that we've identified which there is a problem after a certain area. So it was a conscious effort to say it's time to grow our businesses, it's time to grow ourselves as individuals. So I think that was the point of clarity in my understanding which is saying we need to move forward. And in moving forward, it's not about procrastinating, but it's actually about just doing, doing it. it. So. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Funke. So, so you had the awareness, the clarity, and then you made a decision. Yes. Mm. You made a decision. And I hear that you took action based on the decision that you made. So you were not procrastinating. No. So, so basically to grow, we need to become aware that we need to grow, that self-awareness. We need clarity in what area we want to grow. We want to make a decision that we are going to get the help we need to grow. And then we want to take action to grow. We're just going to do it. Yeah. Whether we're afraid, whether we think we cannot do it, whether we think we don't have the time or the money. Those are some of the things we need to begin to grow intentionally. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to take a break here. And when we come back, we we'll look further into the points we raised. Watch your favorite Heart of the Matter episodes online at www.theheartofthematter.tv Also check out exciting behind the scenes photos Leave your comments and like us on Facebook Welcome back to the program. We're going to talk about the challenges to growth. Even though you want to grow, some challenges are core. So one, what do you think are some of the challenges to growth? Um, one that pops um, in mind is uh, something called an assumption gap, you know, which is basically that you assume that um, things will be a certain way, but you find that along the way it's not actually what you envisaged. 
and so you quickly bail out as opposed to going through with it. Um, I actually um, run a business. It's called Babelum Services. It's a logistics company, and um, we're also into the production and printing of packages. And I started this five years ago. And when I started, I didn't envisage that I would go through that many challenges. So it um, it was it was a bit of a it was a bit of a tough one for me because, as I said, I mean, I'm using the assumption gap as an example because I actually went through it. I felt that max two years I would break even, you know, it would be really successful. But two years down the line, I found that I was still struggling mm -hmm. with, um, you know, certain things concerning my business. So um, I think I got to the point whereby I realized that I needed some kind of um, professional assistance, which is basically where the life coaching came in. And then I started to, you know, get involved in seminars and whatnot. But I know that assumption gap is definitely something that, you know, gets in the way when you're trying to grow. Okay, thank you very much, Wonyo. What about you, Funke? Um, like Wonyo said, I think it's the assumption gap where you actually think that you, you just grow, either as an individual or your business just grows without actually making any plans or mm. progress <laughs> or anything. And then um, the perfection gap, whereby um, you just feel that uh, everything has to be right and the timing has to be right so it's a mix of assumption perfection mm -hmm. and timing where all this together is a major challenge because I, it's not a race so we just have to realize that you have to take things bit by bit slowly and um i guess just do it you know however it it takes you or how you manage it i think it's just building up of that understanding that it's a slow gradual process mm -hmm. but you will get there okay thank you both of you what i hear from you is that there's, a, there's an assumption growth that stops people from trying from even starting to grow they assume that growth will just happen yeah. for some others the challenge could be they don't know how to grow so they know they need to grow but well, how do they start growing? They don't know. Mm -hmm. For some others, they want everything to be perfect. Mm -hmm. They want to have all the money, they want the business to be well set up before they even try to do anything. Mm -hmm. There are some other people that are afraid, fear. Mm -hmm. They're afraid of failing, they're afraid of making a fool of themselves. They're just afraid to do anything. And in the course of coaching so many people, I find some people are even afraid of success. So they don't take the step that they know they need to take to grow. Mm. Have you experienced any of the other points? Um, I have experienced yeah. um, the, I, I, the fear of, um, uh, you mentioned, the per I think it's the perfect, the perfect gap, mm -hmm. which is basically, I, I, would, I would say it, I used to mm -hmm. say that, oh, I, I can't make money, I need, I need money. I, how am I supposed to grow my business if I don't have money? You know, so the realization, the penny finally dropped uh, a few years after when I realized that you're not going to make money if you keep making excuses. Yes. So um, I think from the point where I realized it, then I basically started to work in the other direction. Mm -hmm. And look at me today. <laughs> well, well done, well done in your business. Because I coach you, Wanu, yes, and I know we've been on a journey. Mm -hmm. uh, These this challenges stop people dead in the track of growth. You know, but I want to encourage you viewers, no matter what the challenges are, the fears you face, sometimes you think, oh, I can't do this. I don't know how to do it. I really want to encourage you to step out there and do it. Find the help that you need. Join a class, come for coaching, masterminding, read, go for seminars, just do it. I also want to talk about doing things afraid because fear is the greatest challenge people have when they know they need to grow. And the only thing I can say is do it afraid. Just do it. We're going to take a break now. And when we come back, we'll talk about the laws that govern growth, some of the laws, because there are laws that govern growth. Watch your favorite Heart of the Matter episodes online at www.theheartofthematter.tv. Also check out exciting behind the scenes photos. Leave your comments and like us on Facebook.
welcome back to the program. Now we're going to be talking about the laws that govern growth. They are laws that govern growth. My mentor and friend, Dr. John Maxwell, wrote an incredible book, The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. I suggest you get that book. There are laws that govern growth, you know. And the first law of growth is the law of intentionality. What does that say? Basically, that growth doesn't just happen. That's the law of intentionality. Growth doesn't just happen. You have to make it happen. You have to plan for it. You have to take the action. You have to do whatever you need to do for growth to happen. I also like to add that growth doesn't just happen except your weed. Think about a garden, a beautiful garden. You don't see the beautiful flowers coming up and the garden looking so beautiful without a lot of time, planning, attention. It's only the weed you see springing up all over the place mm -hmm. and we don't want that. So if you want the garden of your life to be beautiful, if you want your growth process to be beautiful, then you have to be intentional, very deliberate. Get a plan and work your plan. Then the second law of growth is the law of awareness. That's the second law of growth. The law of awareness. And the law of awareness simply says this. You have to know yourself to grow yourself. The law of awareness, it says, you have to know yourself to grow yourself. What is it saying? You have to know your strengths, your weaknesses, your, your in, the things that inspire you, your areas of interest, your potentials, and all that. Because if you don't know all of this, then you're not going to know which direction to grow in. What, 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 do you, what is your take on that? I totally agree. Yes. Um, you need to know yourself. And um, what I used to do, I know my strengths and I know my weaknesses. But because of the kind of person that I am, I'm, I'm not the type of person that would give up easily on things. So what I would do in the past, or what I always did in the past was, I would focus on my weaknesses and try to strengthen my weaknesses, f totally ignoring my strengths. And I found that um, I, I, it wasn't easy for me. I wasn't mm -hmm. really growing. So um, in the process of reading all these books and just going on like a self-developmental journey, I realized that you need to focus on your strengths, sharpen your strengths, hone your strengths. And then, just then, you would find that it's not so difficult growing, especially in, in the path or in, in whatever field it is that you're, you're doing. So um, that's what I basically started doing. I focus, I've totally just looked away from my weaknesses and I focus on my strengths. And it's, I found that it's relatively easier in terms of running my business and just relating with people. All right, thank you, Wonu. You know, it's funny with Wonu Zone, I'm actually the opposite of her, which is in the past when she was focusing on her weaknesses, I've always in the past focused on my strengths and um, realized that, okay, there's nothing wrong with having weaknesses, but I always put it at the back of it saying, I'm going to keep moving with my strengths. However, with that, there's also a fine balance that you have to find um, in the sense that now that I know who I am and I know my strengths, those weaknesses need to be developed to an extent. So I find that having to collaborate or working with other people, you find that you can actually achieve more. Um, I can give you an example where I'm a strategist, I'm an implementer, I'm a doer. On the other hand, my sisters or my friends could be thinkers, they don't do. So working with someone who is a thinker it's the best collaboration because they think and i do <laughs> and so you yeah, it's, so it's sort of a synergy yeah, where yes. one person is thinking one person is doing and things are getting done and, and that's day. great and that's really what it is about because every one of us has strengths mm. and then weaknesses mm. but really we, we don't want to put all our effort in our witness in our weaknesses because then we're struggling yeah. we're putting out so much energy so much resources and we're struggling better to focus on your strengths grow your strengths <laughs> and collaborate with other people that are strong in, your, in the areas of your weaknesses. And you will find that you are achieving more mm -hmm. with the synergy that you create there. 
Now, the third law of growth that I want to touch on today is the law of the mirror. The law of the mirror simply states that you must see value in yourself before you can add any more value to yourself. The law of the mirror. Mm -hmm. You must see value in yourself before you can add any more value to yourself. Now, this is talking about self-esteem issues. This is talking about how you see yourself, your sense of self-worth. If you feel that you're someone who's, I'm no good anyway, so why bother? But if you see something good in yourself, then you are most likely to want to make it better. Mm -hmm. If you don't think you can succeed, then you're not going to succeed. make the effort mm -hmm. to succeed. And now this is where a lot of people struggle in this area mm -hmm. because their sense of self-worth and self-esteem is not something that they have developed as adults. It's something that starts from childhood, where your external environment, your significant others have created your sense of person, your sense of who you are as a person. So what can you do as an adult? Self-awareness again, in discovering yourself, looking inward, as you begin to find that, oh, you have low, low self-esteem, and all that. You can change that the way it was formed. You can change that. If you can't do it alone, sometimes you do need professional That's help okay. to help you. But you can just start by changing the way you think about yourself, mm -hmm. by realizing that every single person has great potentials within them, yourself included. Mm -hmm. You have strengths. Look for those strengths. Look for your hobbies, the things you like to do. And really, if you must, get help to do it. Because if you don't think you're worth it, then you're not going to invest in yourself to grow. You have to believe that you're worth it. You have value, you're a person of value. And then and only then are you going to invest in yourself mm -hmm. to begin to grow. Mm -hmm. So, um, Wanu, any final comments on intentional growth or your thoughts? Um, I, would, I would just say to um, the people watching that um, this, this life that we live is, is the real one. You know, I've, I've read it. it we're not, this is not a rehearsal. This is the real thing. So, um, and time is of absolute value. So if we're going to, if we have decided that this is what we want to do in life, or if you have found what you find, what, what your strengths are, then I would advise that you be intentional about it. You be deliberate about sitting down, making a plan, actually actualizing the plan and doing it because time is of essence. Thank you, Won. What about you, Funke? Final thoughts, comments? Um, I guess mine would be, in addition to what Wanu said about how, um, time being of essence, um, I think the great days in our lives, or if you want to say, when you know your purpose. So there are two, the, there are two um, great days in a person's life. The day we were born and the day we know why. Um, if we, we, we all have potentials within ourselves, so it's to actually fulfill those potentials. And um, being accountable in the sense of having the purpose, being accountable for it and ensuring that you fulfill those potentials in one's life. So. Thank you, Funke. Thank you, Wanu. Thank you very much. It's been great having you on the program. And for you, our viewers, we've been talking about intentional growth. If at all you want to maximize your potential, you have to grow. And that growth has to be intentional. I encourage you, get a growth plan. Be very intentional about your growth. Don't leave it to circumstances. Don't leave it to hope. Hope is not a strategy. You have to get very strategic about your own growth. Be deliberate. Move from accidental growth to intentional growth. Until when we see you again, keep growing and God bless you.